Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to save the products data in a file and also you will try to read the file. I will try to read the products data from the file. We will try to see. Now what we are trying to do? Here we are saving the products data in a constant variable. So that is nothing but in array we are trying to store it. Now let's remove this one and whenever we are trying to save the product, single product, we need to save it in the file or, or we need to get the first the product's detail present in the file and we need to save our product, we need to append our product data and we need to save it again in the file. So that is the thing we need to do it. And also here when we are trying to get the products, so we need to get all the products from the file. We need to read the file and we need to get extract all the products and we need to send it to the controller. Let's try to do it. For, for saving a product, first what we need to do? We need to get the path. Here I am creating a folder. So data. So where I will be storing the products details. Now here if I try to save. What I need to do? First fs dot read file. First I need to read the file. So fs means I need to do constant fs is equal to require of fs. So I am getting the fs. First let's extract the path. So let's get the path of the products path. So products path is products path sorry products path is equal to path dot join. So here we need to import that path dot join. We have the root directory. Here I can save that root directory constant root dir is equal to require of utils slash path. I can use it like this. So root root directory path dot child root directory and we need to get the data and in this one we need to have products dot json file. So this is our products path. First what I need to do fs dot read file. First I need to read the file. So it's not sync async. It will take first one is a products path where is that file is present and it will have a callback which you will get an error and also the products data that's it now this is a callback function now if an error is there so that means right now first the first time there will be no products file here so if an error is there what i need to do let's initialize the products data so here first one it will be an empty array if an error is there means what i need to do if a not error is there, for example, if error not is there, that means products data is available. What I can do here, products, first I need to add json dot parse. Why? Because those all will be in the stringified, stringified products data. That's it. So we have a products and now we got the products. What I need to do? I need to add that product. Here what I can do? Product dot push sorry products dot push the product 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 we need to push it we have pushed the product we have pushed the product now we have got, we got the updated products data here first what we are trying to do we are trying to read the file from the products path if the products are not present so we are extracting the products and afterwards we are pushing the product or otherwise this products will be there empty array like that only and we are doing and we will push the new product into this one uh, now we can remove this products dot push. So why? Because it went into this asynchronous. Now after pushing the product, what I need to do here fs dot write file. I need to write the file. Write the file in the same products path. And what is the data I need to do? So json dot stringify. I need to convert this one to the stringify. So dot products. And you will get an error callback. So if any error occurs means you will get an error. And just you will console dot log of error. That's it. That's it. This is a simple thing. So this is our read file. So this is our read file. Now we want to get all the products. Okay. We want to get all the products. Now we don't have a products variable. So now what I need to do if I want to get all the products, I or otherwise what I can say is fetch all products. We'll try to do fetch all products. In order to fetch all the products, what I need to do first, I need to read the file. After reading the file, I need to return the products here. Let's take the same path. We'll try to refactor it afterwards. First, we'll try to add a path here. So what is the path? Products path here. 
and here also same thing first we need to read the file read file and in this one we have the products path and here we will get error and also the products data same thing you will get the products data and this is a callback function and here what i will try to do is so we got the products data return json dot parse i am parsing this one and i am sending that products data that's it let's try to see whether it will work or not so we have completed now its server is starting and if you go into this one so if i try to execute it we are able to see that get all products is not a function okay not a problem let's go here we have changed this one right so here we need should be fetch all products that's it so here we can remove this get all products now let's see that we are able to get it or not first let's try to add products slash add so this is the method we are able to see it and i am clicking on add product so it went to here and it is now let's see that whether a file has been created or not here the file has been created and the data what i am trying to add it it also has been added so it is working fine without any problem but when i am trying to get the products here we are getting an error why because the products dot length that means i am unable to find the products data it is saying why because if you try to see this product dot js file so this is an asynchronous call read file it may take some time to read the file but here immediately it is calling this one and immediately it is trying to render the home page before the fetching all the products only so what we need to do here we need to wait until the products is completed after the products is completed we need to render the page so what i can do here first thing what i can do is here i can do i can say that fetch all products so we will get a callback function we can add a products i got the products and in this one i can when i got the products i can execute this one and here you will be having the products so that's it so this products will be having so that means fetch all products will take a callback function so when you got when you get all the products details pass this one to this callback function now here fetch all products gets a callback okay callback function now when you get this all the callback when you get this products data now execute this callback so here i can stop this one so constant products i can keep here if you want so now let's try to pass this one now let's try to call this callback after getting the products that's it we are executing the products now fetch all products gets a callback and this callback will get will send the products here after getting the, all the products this callback will be executed now if you try to see the output here if i try to refresh it i hope this one will work i think yeah we are getting and if i go to the add product and if i try to add it another one product 2 and if i click on the add product see product 2 is also got added now if you open this one product.js file sorry products.json which is available here we are able to add the another product also so this is how we can create now this all the code belongs to this model only now here whatever the file it may be so whether we are getting the fetching the data from the product file or from the database anything it belongs to here only so here what we are trying to do we are trying to read the file so this may take some time after reading the file we are checking that whether products is available or not if any error if nothing error is there means we are parsing that products data from that file and we are saving in the products array and we are pushing that products in, uh, and we are pushing that product which we are trying to add it into the existing products data which we got it from the file and we are again writing the file so here there is no callback function nothing is uh, needed for here and here the same thing we are trying to do the read file and we are doing the callback function so here if you try to see here we are using the read file and also here we are using the read file now why can't we divide this one into a separate code so why can't we reuse this code so let's try to refactor this code in the next session so this is how we can get the products data from the file and also how we can save this one the products data from this file is like this hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you